hi my sages so apologies for my absence i know i keep saying that but these time this time we're big is uh we've had three we've still got one going on but a few weeks ago i got took down with the norovirus and yes it hit me like a sledgehammer it is the most disgusting horrible ugh, just thinking about it makes me feel like i'm gonna vomit again um i didn't eat for i think it was six days um i didn't even dare drink it, it was just awful i won't wish that on my worst enemy um then so i had that for like eight days and then my son was blue lighted to hospital uh we're not even going to mention the first hospital but after the first hospital nearly killed him uh we got blue lighted to blackburn and they they saved his life he went straight into resus and his lungs were failing um he has had bad lungs all his life started when he was eight, eight weeks old uh he's 18 now but he's been home now for three days uh yeah 72 hours we're on the third night i think it is now and he's doing absolutely amazing i want to thank everybody on my page in my inboxes you know every he even wrote a, a he wrote a status that i thought was beautiful that he put on my page saying you know you never know whose wish out there it were that saved his life i thought that was really cute um so yeah we've had that as well and then, I don't know how I've got internet at the minute. No one's got internet. Um, a drunk driver has wiped out the internet for the whole of my town, the area that I live in. Um, so it's a bit on and off. I've already had a notification saying that it's going to be going off again because they've got to replace the full thing. They've, it's actually been ripped out of the ground. Um, so I'm getting these out as quick as possible. I really, I'm so beyond work. Like I'm free week now, near enough. Uh, that I've not worked and you know as a self-employed mum it's it's not good so I'm going to jump straight in sad days I'm going to get you an affirmation so hopefully I'm due something good now hopefully I can be here for a while we have today can be the beginning of anything you want today can be the beginning of anything you want I like it I like it a lot <laughs> so let's get you a numerology card and you've got the number 48, financial discipline, Sadges. Are you overspending? Is this something that you need to save up for? Financial discipline is an energy that is coming around at the moment for yourselves as well. So being a bit financially disciplined with yourself, take that on board. So I'm using my empowerment deck. <clears throat> Sorry if I'm a bit croaky and my eyes a bit... Uh, uh, I had Bell's palsy years ago, so whenever I'm tired, stressed, or anything like that, for some reason, my arm muscles, this side of my face, droops a little bit, and I've noticed it started to droop, but I've been recording all day. So we've got temptation coming out in the centre. What is the temptation? Is it a financial temptation? Is it a temptation to, you know, go backwards? That type of thing. It is the devil card. It is the Capricorn energy. You may have Capricorn in your chart. Always check your sun, moon, rising, and your Venuses. Um, so there's temptation there. What's challenging you? <coughs> the challenge is to leave temptations in the past. Bricks and mortar. It can't be rebuilt. Let's just bog it to the side. Let's just rest. It's draining. And let's just go for something like more secure, more natural. Allow something to flow. You know, so maybe it feels like you've been fighting to rebuild something. And what they're saying is, what is the point in rebuilding something when you can go and build something new? You know, today can be the beginning of anything you want. I kind of want to say, stop trying to rebuild and go out there and build. Build something new. Why is it coming around now? Connection. Connection to your higher self, connections to other people. When I drew this card, this, this was me connecting to my higher self. And I felt like I didn't have the confidence to do the job that I, I am in now, even though I drew these cards when I was still doing this. But if you look back on my first YouTube videos, it's so embarrassing. I feel like going back and deleting them all. It's not even me. I'm not making eye contact. I'm not being myself. I'm just like, mm -mm -mm. you know, so there could be a confidence issue in that as well. Um, some of my sages. I feel like it's time to push yourself, especially like maybe in work life, financial, you know, that type of thing. Like 
to trust and believe in yourself that you can do better and that you will do better. You know, the temptation can sometimes to be to stay where things are comfortable. And I feel like it's time to step out of your comfort zone. And again, that's financial discipline because you're being disciplined with yourself in the sense of I'm worth more. You know, I'm worth more than that. Let me just, I just want us to check that noise reduction we're on. Can't get used to using a microphone. It's so weird. So, recent past, we've got the throat chakra. I like this, though, because I feel like you've already started to speak about it. May not be to everybody, maybe just to yourself, do you know what I mean? But I do feel like there could be a couple of people that you're opening up to. You know, you're opening that throat chakra. And with the throat chakra, it also opens the ears, so we need to listen as well. Speaking our truth, being able to hear the truth, even if it's hard to hear, you know, that type of thing. But I do like that because... we. We do speak things into existence, and but you've also got to be careful because if you are thinking like, I'm just going to stick to my comfort zones where things are okay, that type of thing, you're putting that out there, you're manifesting it because you're telling the universe that you're okay with how things are. And that's all, it's okay to be okay with how things are. But what I kind of want to say is, you get this laugh. Why not push yourself? Why not go for whatever it is you want? not stopping you at present right this is getting so weird everyone's had lilith and everyone's had congratulations you haven't had the lilith card yet but at present it keeps going out in the exact same place so there's definitely something going on so we've got the congratulations card you've been given your energy wings it's now time to use the gifts and strengths that these wings carry to provide guidance and empowerment to yourself and others your experiences are your qualifications that's where I'm saying, if you think, oh, I'm not good enough, I'm not this, I'm not that, you've got the experience, Saj. Source to new spiritual hearts and spread your angelic energy wherever it's needed. Source to new spiritual hearts. Go up, allow yourself to ascend, allow yourself to climb the ladder. Because going forward, getting even weirder, everyone keeps coming out with this in the forward position. We've got the desires. What do you desire? What do you desire? Have you been fighting for a relationship? Is that the temptation to keep going back to a negative relationship? To stay in a job that you don't really want? To stay in an area that you don't want to be in? Do you know what I mean? It's about putting your desires out there now. Words cast spells. Speaking it into existence. What you want. What, how you want it to feel. How you want it to smell. How you want it to, you know, the experiences you want to get from it. Because the hand of the divine is saying it's still there. It's still waiting for you. You know? But... They can only push you. They can't take you there. Your power in this situation is Lilith. <laughs> I knew you were going to get it. Everyone's got her. Lilith, well, everyone knows. I love Lilith. You know, but your power is Lilith. And Lilith is the divine feminine energy. She is the, I will say no if I need to say no. Um, if a million people are going that way, she ain't a crowd follower. If, she, if her intuition's saying, mm -mm, there's something not right there, I need to go that She'll go that way. She's not scared of stepping out of the crowd. She's she's not scared of shedding her skin. So she always carries the serpent. You see her as the serpent because when a serpent feels trapped, when if a serpent grows out of its environment, which is its skin, it has to release that layer of skin. We have to. It has to climb out. We. Well, you'd think I, I'm a, I'm snake mad. Whenever I reorm a snake or foster whatever, I end up with another one. You know, I think I'm just meant to be the snake lady or Medusa or something. But you are shedding the skin. Your power is to shed that skin. It's to, allow, it's to allow yourself to have that Lilith energy in order to put the boundaries in place with other people and with yourself. And that is where the discipline comes in. You know, if I say I'm not going to do this, then that's putting a boundary in. If I do it, then I'm breaking my own boundaries. Do you get what I'm saying? So the outside influence to this reading is your crown chakra. You already know what you need to do. You already know what you want to do. I really don't feel like it's a, a case of where you're questioning things. I feel like it's more you're questioning yourself. You're questioning your own ability <coughs> to be that person. In the hopes and fears, we've got soul tribes, soul sisters, soul brothers, that type of thing. And it's that spirit of saying, we're trying to push you towards your soul tribe. We're trying to push you towards the people that will help you get to where you want to be. You know, your cheerleaders in life, the people that you can be open with and open your throat chakra with and speak about your 
your wants and your desires to. Your outcome is the fertility card. I love it. So the fertility card is the empress. It's all the queens of the tarot combined. She sows the seeds in order to reap what she's sown. Well, look what she's so look what she's sowing at the end. She's reaping. She has a full harvest there, and this is what's in front of you. If you do the work and you start that beginning and you stop being scared or stop settling and stop staying in that comfort zone. It's time to step out of your comfort zone, Sag. Love that reading. Okay.